We're going to show you how to get the models folder in Side custom models loader. So I'm just going to show you from the beginning. Right now I'm running universal asset loader. Right. Which is just the mod menu, the add-ons folder, you know, this stuff. All right. So exit the game. We'll open up our steam. Go to manage. Browse local files, go to your BEP INX, INEX, go to plugins, right? You have your universal asset loader plugins, right? You have this file, or maybe you, you may not have it at all. You remember to remove this later. First, we're going to show you where to get the actual file, which is the, co the custom models folder, right? For that, where is it? You're going to download this file, right? This is the Misite custom models loader um, actual file, the zip file, right? You open that up. These are your model folders for that specific model loader. It have specific characters, right? You can do characters like this. So first download this one, then you get this file, your custom model. Um, you have these two files. This is what we're going to do. We are going to open this, right? Get rid of Universal Asset Loader. It won't run if you have Universal Asset Loader in there. Go here. Throw those babies in there. Right? Now we have this. So every time you open the plugins, boom. All right? We leave that alone. We hop over to the game again, relaunch it, let it run. There we go. All right. Okay. Here we are back in the menu. Press F1. All right? There you go. Warning all models don't work with Mila or player. All right? There's nothing there. All right? But the menu's the the menu's open. You close the menu. Remember F1 to open it. We exit the game again. Yes. We are going to close the original file we opened up in plugins. Go back to Steam, right over here, manage, browse local files, plugins, see right there? Now you have all your files, your Cappy model, right? You don't need the stuff that's in there, that's just to kind of organize it, right? You throw these two files into this guy. It's, you don't need to, it's just to keep it organized. I like keeping it organized. Um, whichever model you decided to go with, for example, if you went with um, this one, right? I have the file already. It's right over here. You open this file. Where is it? Go over here. Slap that bad boy right there. Open the game again. You don't need that anymore. If not, I think I messed up something up. It's been a while. It's been a bit. It's been quite a bit. Press F1 again. Boom. Now you got your character to kind of like mod. F1, remember. F1 to take it off and take it on. You could you could literally just click this. Boom. So you could customize all your metas. You could download multiple files, I believe. And have each uh, meta a different character. And then we exit the game. Go back to your files. 
Now you got your copy, crazy meta, and your own models folder. It's pretty, pretty, pretty simple. Pretty simple. Alright, plugins. Let's try out the thing I just said. Just to make sure. I'm not too sure if you could actually run multiple models at the same time. Oh, go right here. Throw that bad boy in there. Open up me site again. And we'll see for ourselves if it actually works. If we can run multiple models. Okay. Press F1. You can! Hell yeah! So as long as you're using this custom model um, loader thing, you could literally install multiple at the same time. And not have to worry about like the universal asset loader. I don't like it as much because you can only put one mod at a time because the mod files kind of conflict with each other but with this one they did it they did something amazing there you go that's how that's how you get the models folder